everyone. Uh, welcome to Hard Knock Dice's new campaign, Roads of Ruin. Oh. <laughs> She's back. taking up the oh whole my screen. God. <laughs> so much chaos. It's God. Because it's the first go. episode of this new season. <laughs> Bear with us as we get everything situated as per usual. Uh, but for those re returning as we go on this new adventure, we're glad to have you back. And for those of you that are new, welcome. Uh, before we get started, um, into the chat, a link is going to be uh, thrown in there for Extra Life because, as always, we are raising money with Extra Life for the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Did I get that right, Jones? Awesome. I hope that you open up your heart wallets and send a donation. Do the lawful kind thing and help out a sick kid or two. Um, yeah. How's everybody feeling? Oh, I'm feeling. Hell yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'm feeling some type of way. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I'm feeling like I could get stunned. <laughs> Perhaps. What are you talking about? Perhaps. Well, because it is the very first episode of Roads of Ruin, I better set the stage. Uh, we are going to start where any good story begins. At the beginning. Or at least the beginning of what has been agreed to be taught across the six confederated republics of Amica. 500 years ago, a cataclysm of unknown origin ripped open the divide between our world and the other side. This brought the creatures from our myths and legends into our world, unleashing a wave of natural disasters, death, destruction, and war. To make things more complicated, people began to exhibit signs of incredible power, not just in martial prowess, but people began to wield the power of the elements, manipulate gravity, and so much more. Groups like elves, goblins, and giants came across from the other side to teach and train people on how to harness that magic and teach them different fighting styles to defeat the monsters that were tearing apart the world. For almost a hundred years, people fought against their imminent destruction. The tipping point of whether the world would fall or not was determined at a crossroads, literally. On the road to the last stronghold of Amica, a man-made island called the Isla. Six individ individuals, each from the different newly created republics, worked together to save the people of Amica, the lighthouse, and maybe even the world. Amica refers to these six as the original Calvary, a nod to an ancient poem about a brigade of lightning warriors. To honor their legacy, each republic provides a hero to continue the tradition of protecting the people of Amica from the creatures that cross over from the other side that cause death and destruction. 500 years after that last stand, we cut to our current scene. The Battle of Light Ridge roars below. Every member of the Calvary has been called out to protect the outskirts of Ada, the capital of West by God. Well, sort of. Because currently, the entire battleground has been frozen in place. Everyone except the six newest members of the Calvary. And... We zoom in to Ronan and Emmett standing in front of a six and a half foot tall raven haired woman in a dress that looks like it's made of pure Aurora, pure. Uh, uh, Northern Lights. And like I said during our point, uh, session point five uh, that y'all didn't get to see, but we had a lot of fun with. Uh, Emmett, you recognize this voice. Um, Ronan, I would love for you to roll yeah. a history check, and you get to do this with advantage. Thank God. It won't matter, I'm sure, but, you know, I'll take it. Yeah. Okay, not bad. Or... Okay, I'll take the first one. Uh, 16. A 16? Yes. Um, you have a specialty in Amakin uh, history. And I think with a 16... Um, roll me... Constitution only... Not for, like, any bad reason, but just to okay. see, like, if you can I keep your faculties over some of this. Just so, straight con? Yeah, just straight con. Oh, 
What do you do? <laughs> Ian. <laughs> yes! Yes, it continues! <laughs> Your dice are not uh, any better. <laughs> is that a nat one? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Do you have I can roll three times! And the third one is the fucking one. Do you add anything to that? I, I have plus three. Yeah, okay, so for, at least my it's... Constitution. Okay, well, at, at least it's not just a flat nat one, right? Like, it could that be That would worse. suck. Um, <laughs> it uh, would be bad. Thankfully, this isn't anything catastrophic. It's more of the fact that you are standing literally in front of a historical figure that you learned about. And you don't quite know how that is possible. Your brain is kind of doing the, the like grind, grinding of gears, like, wait, 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 what was happening here? Like, what is going on? Cause this is Aurora. You know this to be like, this cannot be anybody else, but Aurora. You know, I'm pretty sure I'm about to throw up. <laughs> um, and she looks at the two of you and she walks and not even walks. She glides. It, it's almost as she as if she's like walking on air to the two of you and gently places her hands on your shoulders and goes, I am so glad that you are here as it was called for. Emmett. I can't say anything. <laughs> I, I will not an acknowledgement. Ronan. No, I'm pretty sure I'm definitely gonna throw up. And she laughs this ethereal laugh as if it's to, to like sets everything right. And you can still feel like you're gonna throw <laughs> up, but it, it's it's to like make sort of set this all at, at ease. And for those of you who are in the other parts of the battlefield, she's also talking to you. So Kevin and Nicodemus, while this is happening for Emmett and Ronan. She's not physically there with you, but she is pretty, it, it's a pretty good hologram for all intent and purpose. And she looks at the two of you, much taller because it's kind of, it, again, this is a projection. And she goes, Nicodemus, you may not believe that it is me, but it is. <laughs> Listen here, lady. I don't know who the hell you are. All right. What's going on? You, Connor, what's going on? Kevin. Talking to me? I, I'm pretty sure you know who this is. Or do you not do history in the Isla? What the hell is wrong, everybody? I, of course, I know who it is. What are you asking then? Don't ask me. Ask her. Who are you? Why are you taking up the face of Aurora? I am she and she is I. Don't go all wibbly wobbly on me. Talk straight. You'll probably have to break it down in single syllables for him, ma'am. <laughs> He's a very straightforward kind of fella. And then simultaneously uh, a projection with Mira and Anastasia. She is there in front of you. Just 
the kindest smile. It says, hello, dears. You're muted, Chris. <laughs> this can't be possible. There is no way that you are standing right in front of us. I had you on my wall growing up as a child, as about this this tall. And it's not much taller than she already is right now. She's very short. <laughs> the closest thing you can get to, like, anime love eyes is what's happening with Mira and her, her jaws on the floor. So, these three separate conversations were happening, but a shift in the air changes the tone, and all of you hear the same message at the same time. And Aurora goes, All is not right in Amica. And it is the six of you that are, will need to take on an incredibly hard challenge, if you so choose. You have free will. I am not a god. But I ask that you help us. Absolutely. There's something in your pocket. You will know what it is when the time comes. You will know how to contact me when the time comes. I cannot speak more than this, and I do not have much more magic right now. But be well and end this conflict here and now quickly. And all of you feel any wounds that you've occurred over the, the course of the combat, you're fully healed. All of your spell slots fully restored. Um, and like it wasn't even, like this, this time stop didn't even happen. Uh, you are all thrown back into battle. And we still have initiative, um, though it's going to be kind of loosey-goosey here. Um, the top of the initiative, I have Anastasia. Is uh, You and, and Mira have completely gotten rid of all of the spiders and things like that in your quadrant. Um, is there anything that you'd like to do right now? Just turn to Mira. And you notice now that she's uh, regained the composure of what happened, her accent that you had not heard previously uh, drops. Did you just experience what I had? Nope, you're muted, Jasmine. Muted again. I did. I'm relieved to know that you also experienced it too. Quite interesting. Um, and what just occurred? Keep this between the two of us. Keep what between the two of us? Good. That's it. Um, next initiative is Emmett. Uh, did I get moved? <laughs> I was in a precarious position. You you were. Um, <laughs> the the magic um, Aurora basically brought you and right put brought you next to Ronan. Cool. Okay. Uh. So it, it, has time unpaused yet, or is it? Is she essentially saying it's about to unpause? Um, 
basically as soon as she says that she like that she leaves um it time basically restarts okay oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> dragon <laughs> yeah <laughs> sure. we'll talk about this another time and uh since still maintaining concentration uh and that sort of took the the sails out of his his anger there we'll probably take cover and keep shooting <laughs> get behind a building of some kind and start blasting some more. <laughs> yeah, you can basically duck around the corner of that um, building next to uh, the sergeant uh, for, for cover. Yep. And I'll roll some attacks. Yeah, and I will, I will say that... Um, you basically are re fully refreshed, so um, we can do this narratively rather than. Okay. Uh, so if you'd like to, go ahead and roll to attack, but unless you fully whiff, uh, you're you're good to go. I rolled a four and a twenty for my two attacks. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm assuming that does damage. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, des describe uh, what you're what you're doing to this dragon. What what spells were you gonna expel expend for this? Oh, for for like a, a narrative. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, I would probably tr if if we're just gonna kind of go through narratively, I'd probably try to use telekinesis on it to pin it to the ground while people made lots of holes in it, because there were a couple of turrets out there. So, yep, bring it back down into that pool and make it real red with dragon blood. <laughs> For sure. Um, Mira and then Kevin. Well, we've we've killed all the spiders, yes? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Well, and the fires, uh, when Anastasia walks are... past them, they're still, they're still there? Yeah, the, with Some the of exception are. of the ones that um, Anastasia walked past, there the that field is still on fire. Yes, that field is still on fire. All right then. Hmm. Then. Well, there is potential here for a control water, but there is no freestanding water inside the area. So. Uh, I think that, um, roll a, uh, perception check. Perception. All right. And did I roll correctly? You know, I'm just going to roll mine. Until I figure this out. I ro oh, okay. Great. I rolled an 18. Awesome. Even with whatever modifiers you have for that, um, you know, because this is a field, there is irrigation. So you know that um, there are ditches that have standing water in it. So you can easily just use the irrigation uh, ponds Less. to. All right. Well, then let's do that. I'm not casting any concentration spells either. So even better. Um, I am going to redirect the flow of the awesome. water over the field. Beautiful. I was saving that spell for something awesome later on, but it's good to get some practice in. <laughs> for sure. Uh, is that is that all you'd like to do there, Mira? Uh, what Anna is, is uh, yeah, I think, I think for me, yes. I put Perfect. out all the fires. Perfect. Kevin. Um, and we have, I'm, I'm sorry, I forget, one or two of the creatures of the blobby things left. You and Nicodemus fully obliterated oh, we're, both we're of the gazers and done. both of the, yeah. Oh, so our battlefield is clear? Yep, your, your battlefield is clear. All right. So I'll just look at Nicodemus and kind of like, you know, reach up and punch him on the shoulder a little bit and be like that was some that was some good fighting man like should we head back to the head to the chopper 
Yeah, I know I'm fucking great. Yeah, I'd like to get some clarification on what else is going on out here. Like whoever the fuck Hopefully that the... was. We definitely need to talk to the rest. To everybody else and find out what's going on. I'm um, sitting over here fucking pieces of living jello. <laughs> and I'm not willing to sit around and see if there are more. <laughs> Go ahead to the top of Ronan. Um, we, they're big old Greg, man. <laughs> I think that, you know, hey. with one, one more good hit, um, the, the dragon is done. So. Okay. Wonderful. Well, first I'll just kind of look at my shoulder, back up, back him up, uh, <laughs> to help prevent the, 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 oh God, the soldiers from getting walloped. <laughs> His little, little, I say little big old pangolin thing on my turn. And he said I restored all my spell slots. So for whatever reason, my, my expended cartridges of, of spell slot, effectively, I guess, are, are back charged up. I'm going to take one, uh, do a quick few uh, uh, somatic components with my my spell gauntlet uh, and do second verse, same as the first I did from earlier. Expend a third level slot for a... A blinding smite and set set that big iron to biggest iron <laughs> for the additional damage and just lay into it uh, with you know, a, a shot as well as uh, adding on some some arcane jolt damage on there as well. Yeah. Bit of a unwieldy uh, siphoning of, of extra magic. And I just again, this is right at this point. We are purely narrative, so. Fantastic. Uh, you, you killed this dragon. How how do you do that? Uh, this, uh, Emmett is holding it down with telekinesis. Correct. Correct. I I just kidding. This this is a, a large creature. I know we didn't we didn't hit it too many times, but since it's held prone, uh, hasted kind of move at the the correct angle, just hit pull from the draw from the hip and fire that that bullet that is uh it's circled by radiant and force energy just right in through the eyeball before it kind of expands and that explodes within its skull get her done beautiful <laughs> and last but not least nicodemus what is uh what are you doing uh are there cameras around yeah always okay wonderful all right, Connor, you go ahead and go to the helicopters. I'll handle this part of it. There is no helicopter. Oh, oh they they're not back it? yet. No, they just they 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 dropped you into battle or into combat and kept on going. So there is currently uh, the two of you and two. Um, uh, military members on big old turret guns. Okay. I, I was waiting to see if you said it. it all right. Uh, I'm going to go up to the cameras if they're there. Uh, is, is it is like someone close by that I can speak to? They are floating around your head, my guy. They're like little oh, floating so drone right cameras. Okay. Yep. Shit. Get in the shot, kid. Nothing to worry about, folks. We're all set here. What the hell are you doing? Put your hands down. The shot. What's He's that? the shot. Are you throwing up gang signs? Mind? Can you stop that? Fine. Fine. Hey, do you think the camera's got Aurora? We can study the footage when we get back. It's actually not a bad idea. That's it. I'm gonna stick her. And then um, all of a sudden, on um, all of your communicator devices light up. They ping coordinates to a big, like, basically barn that's roughly a quarter of a mile from all of you, um, indicating that that is the pickup point. Um, and so you're basically trekking uh, uh, to get there. Are we 
Star Trek. Anastasia would grab a fang from the spider before they left. And if you want, if uh, this is a good time to have any conversations, otherwise we can just expedite to the barn. Oh, while we're walking over, <laughs> and and then, uh, just make sure he's got a big old smile plastered on his face. Ronan's just while he's walking along with uh, with Emmett, and like, Doctor, what the fuck? <laughs> it was very strange. No, 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 no. <laughs> Doctor, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Anything more than that was strange. You knew that, lady. Like, more than just recognized her. It appears her name was Aurora. He <laughs> <laughs> just gives you a <laughs> <white> smile. <laughs> I think I need some more information on the situation before I can understand exactly what I can tell you and what I can't. Respectfully, fuck you. I appreciate it. Hey, and that's <laughs> just fuming <laughs> because he's like, you can't do, he can't make a scene. Like it's, it's just. <sighs> I assume they we all converge at some point, like, on the way to this barn. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you, so. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. What'd y'all get? Spider. Dragon. 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 Spiders. Multiple. I mean, those are, those are pretty fierce creatures, too. Yep. About you, helmet. <clears throat> Buckets <of> jello. <laughs> and something that looked like a flying testicle. <laughs> He's right. Snickers, Snicker bar, anybody? It's offering everybody little bits of candy. That's, you know, that's. <laughs> really, really <laughs> you know, that's, a, that's a fearsome foe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm sure it could have. No, yeah, just, I'm glad I didn't get that one. Spiders are fearsome, but uh, I am content with my lot. I don't know. I could go for some jelly right about now. That does sound good. Plenty of it on the ground back there. Are any of you hurt? Didn't even touch us. Good. Well. Oh, no, I feel much better after Aurora did whatever she did. Excuse me? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at hey, Guys, listen. So, we're fighting. Nico is, like, kicking ass. He did, he, like, like so. totally knocked out the testicles and all the stuff, and he was squishing the jello. And he knocks him out, and then, like, everything just froze. And Aurora, like, dude, Aurora, like, popped up. And she was, like, I don't know, 20 feet tall. Nico, how tall was she? She was tall. Like, super tall. Like, unrealistically tall. Four dragons. I'm going to spear every camera that I can see quickly. <laughs> I'm going to take out every camera that is around <laughs> us. <laughs> Watch out, you're getting in my you way okay? more dragons. And just fucking take these cameras out. Anastasia will put her hand on Rex's eye over will, Rex's eyes. Will assist. <laughs> Vera okay? will look concerned and dodge. Yeah, that, that you know that's terrible. Bang. <laughs> bang old, bang, old, bang. <laughs> we we've got we've got earpieces so we can like kind of talk back to headquarters, right? Uh, did that go through? I'm just gonna look at the doctor. <laughs> um, you hear over the like? Are you just doing the general comms? Yeah, just just comms. Uh, whoever our handler would be, as far as the handler. Uh, 
Yeah, so over over comes you hear the voice of uh, Hannah Fox goes, Doctor, all uh, camera footage from events like uh, from large events like this are previewed before they are put out to the general public. Cool. In short, we didn't have to kill the cameras. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> are there any no. left? Destruction of government property. Great. There's yes. Rex. A robot puppy dog. Is is Rex acting as a... Could you cut his feet, please? I'm covering his eyes. He... Earmuffs. He Do you have a pair of headphones? Pulls out gun. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, it's... Like, I've grown quite attached to him. I just send him over there. Fair enough. Over there. Perhaps we could find alternate means of muting the robot dog. I didn't build it, so I'm, I couldn't quite I tell will, you how it works. So I will send him on a task. Right. I'm going <laughs> to. He's going to start searching pockets while they're going like. <laughs> supposed. To... <laughs> did, did you all get something? I'm just going to go back to pocket somewhere. Staring at the doctor. Look <laughs> at the trip back. Doctor. Um, at the point of like where you where the three groups converge, you probably have another ten minutes walking to the barn. Oh, okay, cool. So, all right, so while we're walking after all that, um, as we walk, Kevin's going to start ritually casting telepathic bond because you oh, know what's going yeah. on with y'all, but <laughs> like, yeah. there needs to be a discussion clearly offline. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time we get to the barn, it should be kicking in. She did that for Just be like, what the fuck? Doctor. Um... It appears that Aurora came to us and has some sort of agenda. Couldn't tell you anything else. Inside check. <laughs> Technically not a lie. <laughs> not very insightful, but damn it. Roll uh, good though, 22. I rolled pretty good too. I didn't need it. It's kind of come down to the bonus. What, what, what am I rolling? I don't know. You I, tell me. Would it, would it be... <laughs> Deception or persuasion are both. I don't know. Are you lying to me? I'm. I'm not lying to you. I don't exactly know. <laughs> so it would be a 27, 18 plus nine. All right. Well, you no. may not know what she what she wanted exactly right about now, but um, you're a little more familiar than I think. Just kind of general head, like chin point at the everybody else walking. Are we actually entertaining the idea that it's goddamn Aurora? He seemed to think it was. I pointed to the doctor. She it looked like just it. like she did on my wall. That would be shit. Up. She might have been um, privy of circumstances that an imposter might not have been. What's that mean? Elaborate. I can't not tell you. <laughs> Look around for any other cameras. Sure. I'm sure. I'm not trying to be dishonest yeah. to you. Are, you. are you guys having this conversation out loud on the walk, or? Well, yeah, well, they, all the cameras on, are destroyed, so you, so you can still okay. hear us. And I guess, okay. I guess the robot has gotten a lead to stay out of me. Uh, yeah. mic shot. <laughs> Mine don't record. Is there a reason we knocked out all the cameras? I don't know what the hell's going on or who sent that shit to us. So I'm giant. But uh oh, <laughs> I cast a large on myself on X in my bed. I um, big at himself. Dang old, I don't dang feel old like maybe thing. whatever Aurora was saying to us is something that probably needs to be mentioned to all of Amica. Well, Do you think all of Amica didn't see it? I mean, were the cameras not rolling at that time? Time to stop. Seemed to be moving at the time. I doubt, but us pretty sure the people who saw the feed wondered why I teleported off of a dragon and then was next to. Yeah, that was really fucking stupid, by the way. Just... Had a nerve. Put that in there. Sure. 
it worked. Aren't aren't elderly folks supposed to be a little more seasoned? I don't see how it didn't work in our favor. It seemed really distracted with the creature on its back shooting it in the head. Sure. Sure. <laughs> and why 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 so close mouth? Hmm. Couldn't tell you. Wait, we I we all know he's from Newfie, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I suppose figures. This some was this some Nonsense. Listen, every everyone knows that everyone knows that there are people from Newfie keep lips pretty tight. Yeah, they don't make it normal. It does for me. Keeps it keeps seeming quite strange. I figure, as far as I can tell. I'm sure uh, whatever Aurora has to say will figure out every detail within reasonable time. How do you fucking know it's Aurora? I wish I wish I could divulge that information to you. How do you know but that I believe it's, it's not? Aurora. I don't know that it's... It, it could very well be some other entity posing as Aurora. I don't you believe it is. divulge it to us? Who could you divulge it to? We're all on the same team. Hey. Right? I mean, to We're be fair, I just met all of you. On the same team. Um, I just don't want to say more than I should. Is there like uh -huh. a team therapist? Like, is somebody going to do team building or something? Like, if it, if it's going to be like this for the next couple of Listen, years, this is ridiculous. Nah. Gramps, you ain't got a lot of time anyways. How about you just fucking spit it out before you keel over? Um, I would if I could. Oh no, it's blocked. Do you need do you need some magical like spells removed? Something's preventing you from being able to speak. You said I don't you would if you could, like you I can't. Don't, I don't need anything removed. So it's not that you can't, but you won't. Those are not the same thing. Yes. Or okay, can you say and say what you mean? you won't you won't not you can't i said what i said let the man have a seek let the man trying, have his secrets i'm not trying to be difficult i can't say detect oh. evil and good <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> well okay, perhaps well, for the moment chaotic evil. we should allow <laughs> the elder to hold his peace Right, Out of respect, he, if nothing else. Before he rests in peace, I would like him to tell, divulge the secrets that he's holding that is pertinent to everyone in this circle right now. I'm only 44. And I don't know why oh, you all keep damn. calling him old. <laughs> I mean this. Once again, look, no cameras. I mean this with the most disrespect possible. Not age so hot, brother. I'm still here with you, aren't I? And I think you are gorgeous. I know I am. Um, At least the fans think so. Do I detect any aberration celestial elemental spay <laughs> fiends or undead within 30 feet? <laughs> um, uh, yes, but only because you are converging on the barn where, um, Dozens and dozens and dozens of other Calvary members are showing up, and you know that uh, people get their magic in weird and funny ways. So nothing, nothing funky off of, off, to, uh, off the doctor. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and as as the six of you go uh, get to sort of where. It's very clear the meeting place. Um, you see basically a projection of uh, several different leaders. Like, um, so you, you see Hannah Fox and you see um, Asher Pinode, who um, 
uh, Emmett and Ronan, you ro- rode in the, the, the helicopter with, and then you also see uh, J.C. Neely from the Isla, the three, basically the three de facto, like, squad leaders, I guess. Like, they're, they're, they've so- sort of divided everybody into three groups to make going back to the Isla much more efficient. Um, and, the, and the six of you have been assigned to Hannah's uh, group grouping of people. And so you walk over into that space and you're hearing the same thing uh, that the other groups are also hearing of. You're going to stay in your uh, Calvary groups. They will get basically three C-140s for all intent and purpose uh, to load everybody up to go back to the Isla. And it would be, it's going to take about 15 minutes for those to land and for everybody to get onto that. Um, And you wait. Um, Slowly but surely as everybody's milling around, regular sits from Light Ridge and even... um, at, um, at a come to, to see the the heroes. What do you do? In, shaking hands, meeting faces. You say shaking hands, meeting faces? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, uh, you gonna go help anyone who might be hurt for sure did the ritual casting of telepathic bond complete it should have that there should have been enough time for that yeah when it when it went off like kevin would have like kind of across the bond gone like test test oh there we go mic check mic check oh boy seems to be working great loud and clear but now we're all in each other's heads. Mm-hmm. Same that way. Interesting. A dead silent from Anastasia. <laughs> There's nothing going on up there. <laughs> Bring a mind shield. <laughs> we, we've got an oh, hour, really? so, you know. Yeah. And uh, Emmett is is doing some doctoring. Um, it, is anybody milling around or are you letting people yeah. come to you uh you have your in your pocket um or in a pocket or a satchel or whatever you have your fan cards that you can give to people uh, uh if they ask for them um or many of them that you see several small children with autograph books um who are going around to the different uh, Calvary members. Um, is there anything in particular you want to do before we cut back to the Isla? Handing out the cards. If there are any small children who are interested in coming to Mira for the thing, that's what Mira's going to do. Yeah. You see a, a whole gaggle of small children who are just fully like, you're new! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> I, I, I go around so I make rounds uh and you know do the do the like handshake and make like little little artificer trinkets that are like a noise maker that it's it'll just stop working after like an hour and and stuff of that nature uh, I'm want to specifically kind of make sure I rotate around near other groups of cavalry members and and hear if there's any like surreptitious discussion going on discussing the same phenomena that we experienced. Yeah, make a, I guess, percep- perception oh, or investigation. I would much rather investigation. <laughs> yeah, l- 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 let's do investigation. You are looking, you are trying to see if people are... Hell yeah. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Could I uh, aid him by chance? I guess if we're both going after the same information and we're mentally linked up of just sort of combining our roles into one roll. Maybe it depends on uh, what did you roll there? 27. 27? 
as you are handing out these trinkets to people who are just in awe, like they're 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 commenting to you about how cool your introduction to the Isla and the Calvary Thank was. You. Um, you are hearing other Calvary member, um, you know, signing cards, meeting, greeting people. You do not hear, and 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 it is very evident that like. To them, nothing weird happened. This is a another like level five incursion. Uh, everybody was sent out. Everybody killed off their quadrant. It was successful. Minimal uh, civilian life was lost. Um, actually, this was a perfect, uh, you know, a a perfect scenario, if you will. Hmm. Oh. DM, what do we know about the type of wards that might be on the lighthouse itself while we're there? As far as transmissions and stuff go for other entities incoming. Yeah, so you know that um, the briefing room, the recreation hall, and everybody's individual bedrooms are warded up the wazoo so that cameras cannot go in. But... You can um, request um, from what some of any of the higher higher leveled um, Calvary members to adjust your wards in your own room if you want to do like say you want to do sending or something out of your room to loved ones or that like you can you can adjust things specifically in your own room. Um, you can't do any adjustments in the the briefing room or the recreation hall and and this attack that came through um does there seem to be like one particular like plane or anything like that, that this incursion seemed to be from this seemed pretty standard um like uh it had like you based off of everything you heard you, you, there were gazers there were um oozes there were giant spiders there was spider hordes there you had a dragon uh there were uh, there was another dragon on, like on the other side of the battlefield a little bit bigger um but like still a dragon um there was a bunch of like like methods of all shapes and sizes like just scattered through the entirety so um pretty standard it, the reason why it was an all call was because of the two dragons that were uh plaguing because those gotcha. do take more effort um <laughs> and energy to dispatch how, how many how many people were fighting the other one probably the same standard uh two, two to two to three uh cavalry members with a couple of of uh, military members on turrets just seems very strange that Aurora would try to contact all of us when we were out in the field and away from the lighthouse. Just kind of pondering the notion that if this is something maybe she was trying to get in, talk, in contact with us and an opportunity arose. Why'd you be doing that? I'm just as confused as you are. I do not believe you. I'm just going to cast Detect Thoughts. <laughs> I'm gonna cast the tech thoughts on me. Oh shit! Oh, Lord. So, while everybody Zero. else is asking him questions and everything, I'm I'm doing this while like <laughs> suturing up somebody's wound. <laughs> uh, that's a wisdom saving throw. Yo. Uh, oh, that's yeah. only if you delve deep. Oh no! I, oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna delve deep. I'm just doing the surface because she hears everybody. She hears. Um, Ronan asking him questions, so and they're having that conversation. Conversation, so she's just gonna do a surface level detect thoughts. Surface level detect thoughts. Emmett Miller is uh, singing a song to the tune of Hokey Pokey for stitching up someone's wound about going in and out and in and out. <laughs> do the Hokey Pokey and stab the fuck out of you. That's what it's all about. 
I'm gonna stab you so I can make you better. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> She'll just keep like she she did it as she was walking by. She's kind of like almost like juggling. She's got some stuff she's doing with fire to entertain kids, so almost like they're hacky sacks. And so she's just kind of like walking past. She'll just keep doing that. Walk on by. Oh, you're not delving deep? No. Okay. Not here. You fucking lying. She's going to. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told a single one. Better watch yourself. <laughs> it's still dead silent. From anesthesia. Well, these guys are lined up with kids and like signing stuff and everything. Uh, Nicodemus, uh, they'll hear a spear hit the ground about 20 30 feet behind the line of folks and i will super jump to that other side i'll like i'll fly in and i'll cast shatter on the ground as i do and from that shatter a bunch of my uh hero cards will explode out and rain onto the crowd <laughs> and i'll sign uh, autographs and stuff i want you to roll a <laughs> what? Uh, wait, wait, i got to roll <laughs> You might have That's been rolled as a child. I'm ready. First roll of the campaign. I can't mess up. Actually, no, 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 no. Time out. Land on a kid. <laughs> you, you explode a child. I, or or one of the elderly. You, you land because, on Emmett. No, because because all of you like to torture me so much with this these rolls. Which, which means? Jones, hi or low? You better say the right answer. Hi. Always hi. Very good, good, good. With a 65, you happen. land away from pretty much everybody. I mean, like, not, not so, so they far. They don't away, even notice. No, no, they, <laughs> they, they, they nor notice him, but it's, but it's far enough away that, like, yeah. it does, it's not going to impact any cavalry members or civilians. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have hit anybody. <laughs> I mean, sounds like you might have. Um, but yeah, uh, every people ooh and ah and, and flock to you to get, um, things signed by y'all. And this is, you all know that this is part of the mission as well. You, you cleaned up the monsters, but also you are making this, the civilians feel safe and seen. And after a while, the C-130s come, they land, and everybody is ushered on to, um, like, on your communicator devices, it, it tells you which uh, plane to get on, and uh, you depart for the Isla. Unless anybody wants to say or do anything right now, we will skip ahead. Beautiful. So as the airplane starts to cruise on the tarmac, everybody gets a ping on their um, communicator devices. And it's from Hannah Fox. And it is, you know that after big events like this, everybody gets a debrief. Each Calvary team is debriefed by Hannah herself. Um, just to see how everybody was doing and if anybody's like really seriously hurt or, or if there was any hiccups or anything weird that they saw, that kind of thing. Um, you, your group is scheduled for right after, uh, like it's a two thirty three o'clock. Um, you have some other groups in front of you. It is currently about noon. If you remember, you got woken up at the ass crack of dawn by the alarm to, for, for this particular uh, battle. Does that mean we can take a nap? <laughs> Could take a nap, correct. Great. That's a bad idea. I'll be going into one of the locations where we're not going to get recorded for a little while. So you could hang out. Well, you, you can't be in the briefing room because uh, Hannah is doing briefing or debriefs with everybody in there. But you can go to your to your own room or to the recreation hall. Recreation hall. Great. Uh, there is food and beverages being set up in the back half where basically the cafeteria is. Nicodemus going to play some wall ball. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> a little bit of badminton. <laughs> Anastasia will also go to the rec room to brush out her hair, prepare for the debrief, and put on yeah. a new, new face. <laughs> um, how would one, through normal means of communication, call an Aurora? <laughs> Just, just you know, pick up the what? phone, give him a call, see what happens. <laughs> and it, she, you know, dead as far as the wide world is aware. Emmett, you would need to go to your own room, and you know that you have a way to get in contact with um, your, uh, with, um, Astra. Okay. I will do that. <laughs> yeah. I will definitely like to do that. Yeah. So she she's uh, basically set up a um, encrypted like channel on your communicator device that only can go to Nufi and only the only the two of you can access. So if once you get into your room, you can use that encrypted channel what is aurora's last name uh frost breath okay so are they the ones that i ha is that that's the same in aurora i have in my notes then right correct Double, okay just making sure <laughs> yeah i i would i would like to call astra i don't know if there's a ringing to this or <laughs> It's kind of like ascending, so just like okay. speak it into existence. Um, yeah, a simple message of during a flight today, I had a, what appeared to be a stoppage of time, and Aurora came to speak to me and the other members of the cavalry. Do you know what this is about? Astra immediately opens up the uh, a like basically a phone call, an encrypted phone call, and goes, right. Emmett. I I need you to tell me one. I know that you. I got I got the message. What do you mean, Aurora? Came to you. All six of us stop time in the middle of combat. If you replay the combat that is going to happen this afternoon, if they do any of it unedited, I will be on the back of a dragon, and then I won't be. That would be the breach of time and the exact moment that it happened, if it would correlate with anything else that might be happening back home. I will inform the queen. This is highly unusual. Also, I'm being asked lots of questions that I don't have answers to and can't answer to, and I might be losing the confidence of my fellow cavalry members. I will grant a certain level of dispensation in this instance. You may provide the con... <laughs> you may provide the context that Aurora was and is a member of a court in of Nufi that is historical record you can remind it has been 500 years so humans memories are quite short so it is possible that they have forgotten that You may, as long as you do not reveal the specifics of, of Nufi, you can answer as honestly as you can. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? <laughs> I'll get back to you if I have any other questions. I'm sure I will. Very well. Goodbye, Emmett. 
Goodbye. That sounds like an AI. Goodbye, Emmett. <laughs> yeah, we're all I'm robots. I'm sorry, Dave. And, and, uh, Doofy. I can't do that. Mira, you said that you were taking a nap. Are you just taking a nap? That was the original plan, was to take a nap. But now I'm wondering if maybe Mira shouldn't go to the community center and talk to the elders about what the hell just happened. You know that it is uh, about a 15-minute walk from the lighthouse to uh, the community center. You could certainly go and speak with um, the elders. Though it will ha would have to be a f quick chat, considering mm -hmm. the, the time frame of when the debrief is going to happen. Could Mira call home? Yes. Okay. You could, for all intent and purpose, magic Zoom, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ask, uh, ask her parents if there are any stories about this that she might have heard growing up that might help her understand what just happened. Yeah. Um, okay. So you call home and um, on the screen in your room, the face of your mother appears. What does she look like? Uh, she has large dark brown eyes and auburn hair and uh she has kind of like honey skin and she has laugh lines like that are very prominent like she's been a very happy person so you can kind of tell that she's had like she's laughed a lot and like she's got wrinkles because you know they're starting to show on their forehead huh. and like a sliver of silver Uh, she goes, Mira, darling. Why are you calling? It is the middle of the day. Should you not be protecting the people of the Isla? Yes, Mama. But, uh, something a little strange happened today. From, from what I've heard, it doesn't seem like... It's the most public thing in the world, but this mysterious woman appeared to us after our after we dispatched our enemies, and her name was Aurora. And well, you know. Dear Aurora is a popular name up in Antio. It is... Yes, but... This one was different. This one was special. This one was... Huge. You may speak freely, my dear. She... She said she wasn't a god. She said we had... She said... She she has a plan for us. And I don't think she has a plan for all of us, if that makes sense. Describe the Sorora that you met. Uh, I don't actually remember her description. It's okay. I know it. <laughs> okay. So you you describe you describe Aurora, um, raven hair, very fey looking, dress that is the the actual. Yeah, Aurora. that was my first thought. Was just like you know, the Aurora. Yeah. And and your your mom goes, my dear, that sounds like one of the original Calvary. I uh, trusted her because she looked like home. Well, she may not have been from Antio, but Antio and Nufi are more aligned in ways 
in, in other ways than maybe the other republics have been. I see. I see. If it was truly the original Aurora, then I would hold hold fast and stay true. Okay. That's what I was hoping to hear. Very well, my dear. Thank you, Mom. You are welcome. Now, now it sounds like you just got back. Go eat a snack. Okay. Go snack. Go. I will. <laughs> and then Aurora, because not Aurora, woo, Freudian slip. And then Mira, because Mira does listen to her parents and respects her elders, is going to go and get some food from the cafeteria. Beautiful. Mira's a good girl. Neutral, but good. Kind of cringe if you ask me. <laughs> uh, Kevin or Ronan? Would um, either of you like to do some anything before? You want to go, Ronan, or? I know what I'm. I know what I'm gonna be doing. You know what you're gonna be doing. I do. Go ahead. Shoot. Okay. Go, go um. Ahead so yeah, Kevin, as they get off the helicopter, lost in thought, and pulls out like a Snicker bar or the equivalent, some jerky or something, is just like eating and walking on the way, and goes straight to the library, and starts digging around trying to find out what she can find about um, Aurora. Yeah. Um, roll me a roll me an investigation check, but at disadvantage because you only have a couple of hours. So this is like you literally just like pulling books and and sort of speed reading through. Um. Well, Puddin, it was a 15 and a 10, so it's going to be a 10 plus that, so 15. A 15? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think one of the books you grab um, with a 15, you pull a book that is like the history of Amica, and the literally the first chapter is of the original six, and um, you see a picture, like an actual photograph of the six, and... Um, it is, I mean, based off of the individual you met and the, this photograph in this, in this book, they look identical, but with a 15, like, you're not going to be able to pull anything right. else out before, when, um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. it's like be be before the, the, de the debrief. Would, would um, I have been able to, like, get a handle on, like, when I want to come back, this is the section or these are the books I need to go back to to continue, like, a deep dive into Aurora later? Yeah, with a 15, I think that, like, basically uh, you have, like, a saved search history in, in the library uh, system. So, you know roughly where you can pull more information and, and do... Uh, um, additional research, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Ronan? I would like first I'm swing through the rec room, grab grab some something hot and ready off of the fucking, <laughs> the lighthouse's quick trip, or whatever the fuck we got going on down there. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and I would, I, I, you tell me how, if this is possible or if I would have to do anything funky, I would like to see if I could get, uh, the footage, uh, from specifically me and Emmett's area, actually from all three of our areas from a couple of different camera angles. Uh, and I, and I'm going to take that plus my, my fucking churros or whatever the hell I grabbed, uh, and go back to my, my room and I want to go over the footage and I want to make sure I find basically the timestamp for where all of it, like, that would line up with when the time froze. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm trying to find any evidence of a spell being cast, like any kind of magical signature or anything that I could try to kind of pin down. Because, I mean, everybody casts it magic sl at least slightly differently. Yeah. Um, you know that in order to do that, you'd have to go across the courtyard to the lab. 
the idea. Um, but there, there's, there's a tunnel that goes between the lighthouse and the lab. Um, so, Fantastic. Um, and you need to go and talk to Marcus Fox. Marcus Fox. Even thought I opened a new station. Um, but no, yeah, I will definitely, I'll definitely go to him. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, hey, Mr. Fox, get a, have a, a quick word. I, uh, yes, Ronan. Uh, Ronan yeah. what, what Ronan, can I do with for you? Oh, I was, I was just wondering, wondering if I could get a get if you could uh, get me some a, a copy of some of the footage from uh, the the combat zones from uh, those among my class of, of yeah. cavalry. Yeah. Want to do? Just do a little, you know, do a little examination, you know, see see what I can glean. Yeah, I need you to. You're gonna need to roll two rolls. The first sure. one is not super important, but it's just for you to notice something. So a um, perception or insight. They're about the same. Can't pick. Doesn't yeah. matter. Really. I'll, I'll go with the. I guess I'll go with an insight check. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, you realize that Marcus Fox is Hannah Fox's twin brother. You know that would make sense. <laughs> Um, last names and all yep yeah and so uh, and that's why Marcus is so um, personable because he he stayed in the in the Isla with Hannah mm -hmm. um, to continue on the the mission for all intent and purpose so he is he right. also is from Nevta so there is yes. that that's why he's a little bit more fami uh, familiar with you Um and then the yeah, other one is a persuasion check. Fudge muffins. Uh, I am, you know, I'm only one less good <laughs> at this, but there's just no proficiency. Persuasion. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's real bad. Six. Six. Or sorry, six plus two, eight. Eight. Marcus, Marcus, like, uh, like, pats you on the shoulder and goes, Ronan, if you wait until your debrief, um, Hannah's gonna bring up all of the footage for all of your quadrants. Sure, and... sure, but I, f I figured this way, if I had a copy of it myself, I could go over it in my off time, you know, apparently there's some, got, a, got at least one spell slinger amongst us, I wanted to see, you know, I, it, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, a, a, a you know, scholarly study of, of the magic used by some of those others, and I mean, if there's very least some some magical equipment and whatnot going on, oh. see if I could what I, what information I might glean uh, a little bit of fine tooth comb. Oh no, I mean that is part of this. What oh. like we'll do you'll you'll do your debrief. Um, you won't get it right now, but after oh, your well, debrief, right. Hannah's gonna give you um each of you a memory stick, and you can oh. review it in your own on your own time. Oh uh, well, my well, my my apologies. I'm getting a little too, little too good, quick from my britches. I'm, I apologize. Uh, well, I you know I'll get out your hair then. Uh, Charo, yes, no, just got just swapped it from the rec room. Nice he, warm. He laughs and goes, "The lighthouse always has the best snacks." And like, I know. I don't. And I know it. Don't I know it? He well, like, uh, taps you on the uh, back, like on the the top middle back. Um, in a in a, again, friend, just friendly. And he's like, you tell my sister I say hey. And uh, yeah, if you ever you need betcha. anything, I mean, you're, oh, you're, yeah. you, you do yeah. the tinkering and the, oh, the. Most assuredly, yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. Uh, there's a part of the lab that always has uh, components. So if you ever want to borrow oh, anything. Really? Oh, <laughs> well, that, that, is, that is good to know. I, I thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well. Now go. I don't appreciate. know what time your. Uh, sure. Your I. Is. My Does sister like doesn't hour. like tardiness. Oh, <laughs> well, thank thank you for informing me. I will, you know, keep that at the top of my noggin. I appreciate it. Afternoon. <laughs> Walk away. Um, let's see. Anastasia and and Nico, are you you're just in the recreation hall waiting, or did you want to do something in addition to that? About the only thing that Nico is going to be. I know we got we got. You know, we were just given an important mission from a 500 year old dead lady and everything, but Nico has to focus on the important things. 
So as he's walking into the rec room, he's oh, he'll get on the phone, take his helmet off, strip down a little bit, and he'll get on the phone. Uh, and he'll Katrina. God damn it, a dragon? A dragon? Why am I out here fighting goddamn bowls of pudding or jello? And they, the old man gets a goddamn dragon. I can see it on the leaderboards. They like him more. He's ahead of me right now in the numbers. I, you know, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to raise my voice. I, you're, you're trying your best. How's your kid doing? Yeah, yeah. That, that's great. You're fired. Fucking hell. I mean, a publisher who wants to do this goddamn job. And then I'm gonna fucking shower, snack, and head to the tea break room. <laughs> That was in the rec room? Yes, that was that was right here in the rec room. <laughs> Anastasia, like, mid brush in her hair. I like your attitude. And then continues. Okay. <laughs> Fucking he goes off, takes a shower. Yeah. And at 2.30, Hannah is standing as you've seen her in many times in front of the briefing room door, sort of like ushering all of you in. Is there anybody who is going to purposefully be late? Okay. No. I mean, Kevin will bring up the rear, but she'll be on time. For sure. Um, Just with a bow as she gets ushered in. Hannah gives you the like. We're all too tired for this shit. Look, and never closes... too tired for uh, the efforts. Yeah, she closes the door. She stands uh, behind the desk, and there are uh, monitors uh, all above. And she looks at the six of you and says, "All right, team." How was your very first all call? Easy peasy, madam. Yeah, not a mission. Yeah, no sweat, just just a dragon. <laughs> I just said, look at Nico, I'll say it. Just <laughs> no lip baby. quivers <laughs> <laughs> when you say that. Easy pie. Yep. All right, me and back home just about. Easy jelly. A lot of spiders. At least I didn't have to find a testicle. Yes, gazers are quite, uh, actually, I'm very impressed with Nicodemus and Kevin. You got the jump on the gazers. Those can be quite deadly if, uh, they, if they get you with one of their, uh, stunning beams. So the fact that Nicodemus and Kevin were able to dispatch them pretty much from the jump, um, it's very impressive. Big question. Yes. Is she clearly trying to... Is there any indication that she, she's trying to soothe Nicodemus? <laughs> uh, roll an insight check. Oh, man. Please. Please. Roll good. Please. That's a one. Pretty good. Six. A what? Oh, oh no. 16, oh, no. I think, is what he was okay. going to say. 16 is 16. There you go. Yes. Okay. Nice. So with the 16, um, you know two <laughs> things simultaneously. You know that gazers are actually dangerous. For sure. You know that, like, they can't, especially two of them, could cause actual havoc. Mm -hmm. um, you also know that uh, she is trying to soothe the soul of Nicodemus because, um, and you know this for a number of reasons, uh, Ronan, um, they don't assign it based off of like who's popular or whatever. Literally it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a, like they pull quadrants and go, this person goes here, this person goes here, this person goes here. That is, they, they did not know who would, like, what was in those quadrants at what time when they assigned them. Truly, truly. Noted. She's gonna lock that up. <laughs> the only bit I cared about was she's definitely trying to soothe, trying to soothe his ego. That is all. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Anastasia will pat 
uh, Nicodemus on his chest armor. It's okay, Nick. I hear that they go great with uh, butter. All, Blanched all. in butter. And she throws up her arms because she's like, this Balls is going to get derailed. And... <laughs> uh, she goes, yes. oh. I hate meetings as much as you do, so let's get this over quickly. Uh, of course, of course. Everybody, uh, this team did particularly well. None of you are injured in any capacity. All of you took down your enemy combatants fairly quickly. Would someone like to explain this? And she clicks uh, the like a uh, clicker, like a like a what are they called? Uh, things that they use in like um, presentations, like the remote. Um, like a yeah. slide? Yeah, yeah like a yeah. slide a clicker. Little, little clicker. Yeah. And, I don't think there's and, a particular name for it. I just call them a clicker. Okay. So, yeah, so a Thumper, clicker. Perhaps. And all three of your uh, things, or all three of your, your events start to play simultaneously so basically when you all land um the three rounds of combat and then as emmett so astutely pointed out he is on the ground in a weird uh angle that he wasn't previously in 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 a split second the other thing uh, and, and she and she pauses there and goes, "Can anybody explain this?" Zooming in the hands. <laughs> nope. With, with it, with it frozen, is there any any like a, any sign of like residual magical activity? If I've got a if we got a freeze frame that I can that I'm looking at. Yeah. Anybody with an Arcana check can uh, roll Arcana, or anybody with our proficient in Arcana can uh, do an Arcana check. Son of a fucker! Dirty. What do I need to know about magic? 24. 24? So. I distracted. Well, uh, Ronan, what did you roll? Bad churro, natural, natural one. <laughs> oh shit, dude, come on! <laughs> so, um. Uh, it's a little. You said you have to be proficient in Arcana? No, you don't have to be proficient, but, um, if, if, you, if you'd like to. 19. Okay. Oh, shit. 18 Master. plus one, baby. <laughs> okay. Get so, smarty pants. <laughs> back, back up with you. <laughs> um, anybody? Get... Twenty. Yo, let's go. <laughs> okay. So, anybody who got over a fifteen, um, can. I still almost, I still almost beat the DC. <laughs> I fucking hate it here. <laughs> So anybody who got over a 15 um, knows that like there is you can you can almost see a aurora patina like that those blues and the greens and the purples over uh, not just your combat but over the entire battlefield. It is a it is like an aurora. So you know that some wacky, wonky stuff happened. So anybody who got over 15 and got that. 20 and above, not only do you notice the um, the magic of, uh, you know, the, the, the patina, you almost can anticipate the question that Hannah is going to ask, which is, There is a five minute time difference between your cameras and everybody else. But when we play, when I play all of the cameras, there is no difference. So would someone like to explain to me what happened? Look at the doctor. Look at that man. <laughs> 
surface Good thoughts question, on the doctor. doctor. Well, I I heard that the doctor is actually a very high level wizard. Pretty sure he's a sorcerer. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> Magic doctor. No, um, a, a Aurora appeared. Ma'am, I don't think any of us know what the fuck actually happened out there. <laughs> we saw a, some yeah. sort of illusion from beyond, and that's all I think has been confirmed so far. That appeared as the legendary hero. No, nothing else weird happened anywhere else? No. Aurora seemed to uh, oh, where does that come? From? Aurora seemed to come to all of us and freeze time for around, I guess, five minutes. Um, filled up her gas tank and said, uh, "Essentially, she'll be around. Have a good fight." I don't and know what that means. She know him. <laughs> she has, oh, yes. Point. Damn it. She is from the same place that I am from. Right. She was a representative of Nufi. She is from the same place that I am from. <laughs> Isn't that... Wait a minute. Isn't that the whole point of the... Where's that damn fucking song? <laughs> 500 years ago. Uh-huh. It said six died. Right. To, to, to boil it down to simple terms. I mean, every child knows what happened. What happened. Mm. Right. Uh, it, if Aurora is back, I'm going to need to contact my sponsors. They're going to need to know about a potential collab with her. I serious? contacted home. They don't seem to know what the situation is. Or what that was, uh, so I doubt it has anything to do with a direct new fee involvement. Could be something third party. Interesting. Interesting. Um. And Hannah pauses the the video because it's been on a loop during this entire conversation. Well, shit. What? I also mentioned a mission that they needed the six of us for. Shit. Did not say what. Shit. Like I Wait, said, well, she'd be in contact. Shit. Ma'am, you're saying shit like you have some other information that you might want to bestow upon us? Yes. That, yeah. Yes. Um, well... Yeah. Don't worry. Got she all night. takes a pause <laughs> <laughs> and pulls out of um because she's wearing her olive green coveralls. I do. do. And in a pocket in the front, she pulls out a square. It is, it is well worn and faded. It looks like. You know, Zach, uh, if, unless you haven't checked your pockets. I presume we had so, all, yeah. So so we all found these in our pockets that does not show up because of lighting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she pulls this out of her pocket it is well worn. Hey, everybody get one of those. Like, I mean, not just everybody in this room, just period. No. Oh. When did you get yours? I got mine the very first year I was in the Calvary, and that was like 20 few, years ago. Got like a few months in, or? Is, like, is there any check that we need to make for these? Um, she, uh, she takes a, a really deep breath and goes, 
this is going to be far more complicated and I have to do other debriefings. I would yeah. like... Yes, Ronan. Question for you, DM. Since I basically got immediately turned away, would I have time? Would I have had time to look this over in the like hour and a half we had? Yeah. I mean, what does "look the lost land" mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you just see, like, I mean, it's right there, plain as day. It's right on the back. Yes. What's this rock for? Also, there's a rock, and there's also a little crystal on the ring. Cool, 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 cool. You, you, you freaking out is not making me feel confident right uh, now. I'm just gonna I... put that out there. Okay, okay, everybody, shut yeah. up. Yes, talking to you. I Over. have. I'm your superior officer, soldier. You shut the fuck up and sit down. If I have to tell you again, I will immobilize you because I'm stronger than you. Yes, ma'am. I have to do other debriefings. Meet me at 10 o'clock tonight in the briefing room. Bring your boxes and I will provide you some context. You are dismissed. In insight what? check on her. Yeah, but yeah, yeah that. Go ahead. Uh, 19. Essentially. 14. Essentially looking for, is she like, oh goddamn, not this again, or oh fuck, what are we gonna do? I'm trying, I'm trying to gauge like, is this a, is this a, I'm gonna have to cover this all up, or oh my gosh, it's happening again, type kind are of thing. Are we gonna be disappeared? It's no, it's more of the. <laughs> She's sending us to Bailey's. <laughs> no, we're so going to Guantanamo. Any, anybody who, who, anybody who got over a ten, this is a. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh, so, like, it, it's like something has finally given. Like, the a final piece of something or, like, the, the, like you, you can't quite put a finger on it. But, like, uh, this is not, she's not freaking out, like, scared or, like, oh my god, this is happening again. But, like, almost like a finally. Gotcha. Interesting. Um, and so, 25, grant anything extra, or same vibe? <laughs> she peed a little. <laughs> Tw 25 insight. That's pretty easy. Being smarter what than I am in real life. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of what a 25 can get you on this. I mean... I mean you're, you're, probably your insight good. check can rent a car. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, Hannah... I think with a 25, um, it's kind of like, finally, I'm not alone. Finally, I can share with somebody else. Like, finally, um, the answers can be told. And, 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 and. Like, they're, they're, like despite the fact that she is the, the highest ranking member of the Calvary, she is 29. 29? She got this 20 years ago? She joined the cavalry at 9 years old. Holy fuck. Hell yeah. Child well, yo, soldiers. We have child no child soldiers. labor laws in Amico. What, what class me. is she? Uh, what would you like to know? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, doctor boy. <laughs> um, I mean, but I'm, I'm probably well, you, you would them. know, as with Nevta, um, until about 10 years ago, and this this isn't, um, you don't have to roll for this, this is just a common knowledge thing. Um, Nefta had a very hard time getting um, Calvary recruits because so many were coming from the rural areas and those rural communities needed the their, their magic users to protect them from the big scary things. And so... Um, the, the lighthouse started just taking any strong magic user. Any that That's was... They, yes. How do you make that look good on TV? 
Watch us, we send the nine-year-old to deadly combat. Fuck. That is wild. Noted. So. Oh, boy. Really good editing. Yeah. Real, that really good editing. They're like, this is not a nine-year-old. <laughs> oh, no. Session the whole time. Uh, well, I, um. Propaganda, brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. This child um, had super soldier serum. You're so safe. A child can protect you. It's good. Mmm. Yeah. Um, Hannah dismisses all of you. And as you uh, leave, there are other people coming in past you. Um, and that hey. is where we're yep. Yep. going to take our break. Yep. Hey. So uh, don't go hey. very far. We'll be right back. Uh, take a bio break, get a snack, drink some water. Uh, we'll be back. Bye. Bye. <gasps> Addy. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we are doing episode one of Roads of Ruin, the newest uh, season of uh, for Hard Knock Dice. I'm Kylie. I didn't introduce myself at the top of the episode, and that's okay. I was too excited. It's been a hot minute. Uh, name on screen. Played. Yeah, my, my name's on screen. Everybody's name's Easy. on screen. There you go. You don't need much more than that. Um, you met our actual heroes um at the top of the episode having a conversation with what appears to be a 500 year old historical figure to the people of amica and they're all very confused about it and if uh, that's all very confusing go back and watch because i want you to watch all of the episode not just listen to these recaps i'm also bad at recaps so we're just gonna go with how i do things because this is my campaign god damn it um but we come uh cut back um the six of you have been ushered out of the briefing room uh with instructions to meet back um at the the briefing room because hannah fox who is the in charge of all of the calvary members has something to discuss with you um and it has some serious implications to that. Um, what do the six of you do? You have about s- six hours ish. Immediately call my sponsors. <laughs> like as we're walking out the the room. Okay. Lady, what is wrong with you? But whatever. <laughs> I'm a go find the nearest area that would contain the histories of or like newspaper clippings and I'm, I'm looking for any and all information I can find regarding the, the class of 20 years ago <laughs> which contained Hannah Fox yeah and I would like I'm just I just wanted to pin down what happened to and like if they died or if they're all okay all all the members of like her her year of cavalry members yeah um that would be at the library. Um, you know, the library. You know that there are there is magical microfiche. There is actual hardwired computers. There are, you know, leather bound books. That you you name it, they have it. Awesome. I will use that the, the uh, uh, to most efficiently turn up everything I can about about those six. I guess <laughs> specifically. Well, yeah, all six of them. I mean, I know she's alive, but I just want to see the the history of, of how their time went their nine years yeah i i would like to go with him to do that as well but okay that invite you grandpa i don't have to <laughs> i'm coming anyway and uh i'm actually gonna do something kind of weird because i'm gonna piggyback off of whatever check he rolls for the things that he finds to do inspections on them to see if they've been perhaps tampered with in any way yeah. Good idea. Okay. So and whatever he idea. finds, I will inspect. <laughs> For sure. Anastasia, Nick. Oh, Bates. good. You're not the boss of me. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin would immediately have gone to the library. If <laughs> three for the library. Why are you all following me? Call in the sponsors, and if that doesn't take that long then uh probably uh try to find asher okay 
Two words. Elder Circle. Okay. So you're you're going you're going to the community center. Yep. Uh, uh, Nicodemus, what you doing, my guy? I'll follow the nerds to the library. Uh, why why are you all following me? Okay. So <laughs> we will do the independent ones first, and then we'll uh, zoom to the library. Um, and we are gonna start with the Elder Circle, the community center. Um, so Mira, you head over, um, as, as we established, uh, everybody from Antio just, it's like cousins and aunties and uncles. It, like you walk in and there is warm embraces. There is snacks and beverages placed in hands. There's like, um, asking you if you're okay from the, the all call, because probably a, a good third of the people at the community center, um, even though they're all retired and have been retired for quite a while, um, joined in. Um, uh, you know that there, when you were investigating the community center, that there's a couple of um, teleportation circles that uh, they could do small transports of, of like four to eight per group um, to to act as backup, um, more or less for uh, civilian protection of like get like evacuations of um that's what they're usually um go to for um who are you looking for and what you doing um i am looking for the same circle of people i saw last time who were knitting and doing various crafts mm -hmm. and i want to ask them if they saw anything unusual during the broadcast or during the the actual event since they were there did they see anything hi or low oh dear <laughs> hi that's right always high do not always. blaspheme in my church church a high <laughs> uh yeah so So you head up to uh, the crafting circle and the youngest member, which is saying something because this is probably a 60 or 70 year old man um, with like carving like a spoon set, um, looks up and goes, Mira, Hello. see that you survived. Good job. Thank you. Are you all done with your debrief? What is, what, why are you here? Go take a nap. I, I actually did take a nap. Thank you, thank you for suggesting that. I took a nap and my mother, I called her and she said, go eat something, so I ate something. And uh, now I'm here. Very good, very good. Okay, why are you here? Well, I don't think today was a typical mission. There was some, uh, are you talking about that fey magic shit? Yes. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Okay. Fey magic shit. Fey magic. So, so fey magic shit is just something that happens sometimes yeah. around here. Great, great, awesome. Okay. Uh, has it happened before? When was the last time it happened? If it's kind of like a thing that happens. Here, in, here on the mainland, who's to say? Okay. okay. Um, but he, like, pulls you in, like, close and goes, We deal with the Fae up in Antio all the time. Sure, this is true. Like, He's like, if you really want all the information, you gotta go and get this. And he uh, flashes his wrist, and there is a tattoo of a lotus flower on the inside of his wrist. Okay. Okay. How do I how do I get one of those? Gotta go to Nufi. Um uh, I don't know if I can do that. You'll have time. 
Okay. You'll have time. You're young. It'll That's you'll... true. Okay. I will I will put that on my list of things to do. You have okay. you have a member of, of uh someone from Newfie in your group, right? I do. I do. You can ask him or them or she or who, who I don't keep track to see who's who who's around. So t- talk to the person from Newfie from your group. Yeah, it was the the one on the the one on the dragon? I wasn't paying. I don't I don't watch the streams That's anymore. Fair. That's you fair. know, I know. Oh, they edited it. It's I was too busy like like taking care of the animals, getting mm. them away from some minotaurs. Oh. How'd that go? Fine. All right. Everybody okay? Yeah. Anybody hurt? Anybody need any uh No, we got everybody healed up and everything. It was all good. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? If it, if if you don't mind, I'd like to I'd like to sit here and see if I can uh, make something nice for my mom. You know, maybe a nice little kibbit scarf or something. I think she'd appreciate that. Uh, all of the like elder circle turn point to a closet filled with every crafting Last. materials <laughs> you could ever imagine. All right. Well, I'm gonna walk on over there and see if they've got any uh. Muskox down yarn. Oh, yeah. Like when I say anything and everything, anything and everything. Yeah. You find yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get that and I'm going to get myself a pair of needles and I'm just going to go. I'm going to sit and I'm going to listen to the gossip, see if I can get some dirt on any of the old people. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a senior center. There's stuff going down. 100%. Hell yeah. uh, Anastasia, you said that you were looking for Asher. Yes. Uh, uh... Yeah, so Asher Asher is in the lighthouse. So um, how, how um, are you going to their room, or are you looking for them like the cafeteria? Like, what's 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 your intent here? Uh, their room would be. Oh wait, yeah, their room actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a directory, so everybody knows where everybody like dorm room is. So you go up and. And uh, they open the door and... Anastasia? Asher, I need to speak to you for a moment. Maybe we'll all go room. Yeah. They let you in. Shut the door. Or at Asher. Uh, Asher. I'm not I'm not sure exactly what happened today, but that that was not normal. Seemed pretty but damn more normal to me. Tom Tom froze. And I mean in, in combat time freezes, yeah. I'm that is not what I am talking about. My hero from when I was a child came off the wall uh, and stepped into reality. Aurora was there. Did you get bonked on the head? That happens a lot. If If I did, then so did the other five of us. Uh, roll persuasion check. Big money. 24. 24. Asher looks at you. And with a persuasion check that high, uh, they look at you and go, Anastasia, I believe that you believe what you're saying. I did not experience anything weird or wonky or no time space continuum shit. I fought a bunch of like 
dust methods, basically. They were annoying. You've never heard nothing from and she points up from about anything like this before. Like this. No, I'm this is the first time I'm hearing of it. I I believe you saying that you saw Aurora. She is one of the heroes. She's one of the six. I am going to talk to Mama and see if she knows anything about this. Mama is quite wise. She might know. Is, uh, I, I can't help you out. I'm sorry. Is Hannah good people? And it's the best people. Type of people we can trust. Type of people that I'm willing to lay my da- my life down in front of because she's done it a hundred times or more. Thousands of times. She's made it better for us here. Thank you for your time, Ash. Yeah. If you go get go to Mama, make sure you bring some gumbo back for me, okay? Wouldn't they forget it? Hey. And uh, before she leaves, and I do to you, dear Asher. Um, and before we go to you do for you to have a conversation with Mama, we'll go to our nerd squad plus Nicodemus, I guess. Hey, man. Get wrecked, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Nicodemus will actually break off. He gets an idea along the way. Okay. Good. Kind of be a ball around. <laughs> Can't He's like, hey, you know nerds. what? Actually, I'm going to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> All he, right. he gets an idea on the way. Okay. Um, let's have our let's have our library squad all do your roles. Library. Okay. I assume I'm rolling uh fucking motherfucking uh investigation. Yes. Athletics check. Heavy book. Athletics. <laughs> <laughs> I a am lot of books you get a dick in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these books are so big. <laughs> alright, alright. And okay. you can do it at uh, I was gonna say you can do it at advantage because this is Amican history, remember? Huzzah. Natural twenty hey. for a twenty-nine. Let's go. Sweet Jesus. Okay. I suffer see, faith is rewarded. Dice gods. I rolled an eighteen to Hallow- inspect. Hallowed be thy name. If there was okay. anything fishy. Okay. So um You, you're fishy. Emmett. The initial documents that Ronin is finding is all approved propaganda. So not like not doctored in the sense of like magically doctored, but doctored in the sense of like this is you 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 know right. the, the drill. Right. But as Ronin keeps digging and keeps digging, um, God damn, they just fucking they edit the shit out of everything, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> you you basically oh. get. Um, you find yourself into what is like the unedited, like not restricted because you're a member of the lighthouse. So you have access to everything. So, but like what would be considered a more or less restricted section with a nat 20. What do you, what do you want to know? Like I said, I'm, I'm looking to find out the details uh, surrounding the service provided for the class of Hannah Fox. Yeah, so, so those six, so, so the, uh, very specifically the other five, because I kind of know that. Well, she's been here this whole time. Mm-hmm. What happened with the other five? I am, I am seeing if any of them, if they all perished. Was she the only survivor, or you know the details are, around that? Yeah. So, um, 
Hannah's class is, is um, so only one person did die, but that one is like very publicly known. Um, and Emmett actually would know this because it was the one time that the Calvary has ever been to Nuthi. A Kraken attacked the Port of St. Phi, and it was an all call to uh, dispatch this Kraken. It was like literally tearing apart the uh, the, the port town. Uh, so the uh, with that nat 20, the person from West by God is the individual who died. Um, I do not have a name for them. I can give you a name later. Um, they uh, that person died. Everybody else survived. Um, you do know that, and I get so. And with a nat twenty, um, you've never noticed it before because you didn't ever really think about it. Um, Hannah Fox has a tattoo on her wrist of a lotus flower. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, everybody else from her year retired after their nine year stint and have, they live in, they, they don't live on the Isla. They, they very rarely come out of, uh, and, and there are several, there are lots of people who do this. Like they do their nine years and then they go home and you never see them again because they have done their duty. Um, and with that nat 20, you, you you don't they haven't been disappeared you can see their files like mm -hmm. i think you you hack into the like actual files of, of the people they all have families they are living their best lives they just don't want anything to do with the island and anymore understandable okay interesting and uh, nothing like out of the ordinary about their nine years of service like nothing no like weird events like nothing that like really like stands out <clears throat> aside um, from the death at uh at at, at uh, St. Phi um aside or Saint Phi. Not, nothing nothing tr outstanding um aside from the fact that they were like very successful like Hannah's like you know Hannah's class seemed to just like anything that came their way um they were able to dispatch in a, in in a capacity that was uncanny um and people think that that was just because hannah was um as i was i was mentioning to uh jones during the break um for all intent and pur uh tent in purpose hannah's hannah's multi-class paladin ranger and so some people think that she's favored by the gods um and the sense. isla likes to use that as propaganda makes sense Okay. Um, I had thought of something else, and I can't remember what it was, but you can uh, think... with that nat twenty. It, think, rethink, like uh, think on it, and if you remember yeah. it, uh, say it. Uh, Kevin, you wanted to roll some things. Yeah, it is not good. <laughs> Kevin's clearly distracted. It was a ten. A ten. And what you what were yeah. you looking for, Kevin? Um, for things on her class. Yeah. Mm. Um. You don't get anything more, obviously, but I think uh, one of the things that you do remember, uh, because I think it was you who rolled it during session point five, that the, just thinking about like classes and deaths and like people, you remember that last year's class has gone completely and totally missing. Once I realized that, yeah, then I would have just kind of like bird walked and been looking up stuff on that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Nicodemus. Um, I am going to walk to, I assume, I mean, they, they, of course they like to celebrate their, their calf members and stuff. So I assume we have some type of hall that has like portraits of calf members past and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I want to walk through that and... I want to find, uh, I want to find Fox and, uh, I also want to find and see if I, kn I know her parents died, but I want to see if one, if they were ever Cav, 
or if not them, then maybe some other folks in her lineage. Yeah. Get me. I mean, high or low? Always high. Question for the team. It's 50. Is that high or is that low? Okay. 1 to 50 low, 51 to 100 high. So with a 50 on the chance dice, um, you find Hannah's portrait um, along with the other members of her cavalry year. Um, and you do not, her parents were not CAV members. And, and that doesn't, just, be, just because you are a CAV member or uh, doesn't mean that your parents or anybody else in your family are, it's sometimes really just how it shakes out sometimes. Yeah, no, no, uh, that's, that's, that's perfect because I'm looking to see if, if, if she is special or if this is like family talent. So there, there's clearly something special about uh, about her so that that's even even better cool yeah yeah you don't find and you don't like i said no family lineage of of the foxes from nefta okay um yeah okay and you just walk down the you know it's basically imagine like the parthenon like a building shaped like the parthenon and just aisles and aisles and aisles of po portraits of past cav members um, all starting with the statues of the original six at the actual cross like not the actual crossroads the, the, the actual crossroads are outside of, of the isla you would know this but um, they've created a a crossroads in this parthenon looking building of them standing uh, looking you know, heroic one one more thing since you mentioned the, the statues of the six were in here can i glean any detail that would be specific to aurora i'm gonna go up to her statue and <laughs> i'm gonna try to find the smallest thing that's different or off or anything like that between this statue and what we saw earlier today at first glance uh they look identical um uh I'm trying to think of if you are you looking for any like magical indicators or are uh, is this just like a look see over yeah i think this is mostly just looking looking it over i don't i'm not nicodemus has access to magic but he's not he, he's not studied in it so i'm just <laughs> giving it a look over i'm looking over for details like a like a uh i don't know like a portrait sort of uh to what am i trying to say here uh i'm basically just trying to compare the two and see if i can find anything that the illusion would have messed up on roll an investigation check because nicodemus still isn't convinced that necessarily that this was a royal herself <laughs> i'm terrible at investigation but a 19 on the dice old, old doer um <laughs> uh investigation is plus one so dirty 20. dirty 20. so with a dirty 20 the uh the biggest difference that you see right now is that she is in combat gear um in the statue okay um not the ethereal dress that she appeared in but the facial features the way that the hair laid um like there was there's like a small scar that they sort of lightly in, engraved in uh it was there on her skin like if if the illusion was an illusion or someone acting it was a pretty damn good job It for me yeah um we will cut to the to mama and then if nobody has anything else after that we will speed to the conversation with hannah
Uh, Anastasia just walk in uh, and look to see how many people are there. Who's there? Uh, there's a couple of people um, sort of standing in line in the to-go, uh, like, queue, uh, waiting on food. And just would probably wait for those people to get, you know, get their food and head on. Yeah. Uh, and then she'd approach Mama and just say, uh, Mama. Yes, baby. It's good to see you, as always. Uh... You doing I had, okay? Uh, yeah. I I just had some questions. Something uh, peculiar, peculiar happened today. Hey. All right. Go ahead and and ask away. Uh, Aurora. She appeared in one of our in our mission. Time froze and she appeared and said something about needing our help. Have you ever had anything like that happen before? Honey, heard I was it? not ever a Calvary member, but I haven't heard anything from anybody if that's what you're asking. Well, it was worth a shot. Do you want some shrimp gumbo to go? <clears throat> you know I do. Asher asked for some as well. They're a good kid. And uh, Mama, like, packages up some gumbo to go and goes, Do you want to bring some for your new friends? I don't know how well they could handle it, but... I mean... Hospitality and all. Always. Good girl. And she gets some more and uh, sends you on your way. And uh, about not like 8.55, Hannah is standing in front of the door to the briefing room. I yeah. did recall the other thing and you yes. say if, if I would be able to glean this or not uh, during that other thing. It, it was relatively easy just to see if there was a similar uptick in like pest and general monster activity as we have been seeing in the past three years during during uh, her nine year stint. If, the, if there was a similar uptick in, in activity. Yes. Okay. And did it seem like it, it ramped up and started going back down, or has it been a steady increase since then? There was an uptick, and then it started kicking down, and then in the last two years, it has been It's been on slowly... that rise again. Correct. Perfect. All right, friends. Do you go in... Do you meet Hannah? Yeah. Okay. So. With gumbo and so. You all go into the briefing room. She closes the door. And she. Looks at all of you and goes. I'm assuming you all have. Some sort of stone on you. Now, where did my rock go? I do have a rock. I don't know where my rock goes. Um, she picks up her, um, it's a piece, like, in that same pocket from earlier, she uh, pulls out a piece of volcanic obsidian, red and black, and says, well, looks like all of you have been inducted into the Super secret, save the fucking world again kind of situation. Yes. Weren't we already You've heard her say super secret, right, Nico? Everything's super secret around here. Are someone saying you were yelling at your agent <laughs> in a public forum? You don't no, represent right. yourself? Oh. 
Is it young? No. Of course I have someone do it else for you. That's why she's fired now because she's not doing her damn job. Sorry, man. Oh, y'all really, y'all really are. Okay. It's like that around here. Okay. Hannah looks at you and goes, yes, it's like that around here. Gotcha. I'm Crazy. surprised that Crazy. you all don't have agents or companies you're working with. Well, I'm working on behalf of my people. I don't need a company for that. Yeah, we're all um, working on behalf of our people. We're all giving that speech. Yeah. Um, uh, Hannah you want... gives you a direct look, uh, uh, Nico, and then looks to Ronan and goes, Ronan, you can explain to Nico what it means to live in Nefta or Zona. That sounds like a waste of my time. Unless oh, it's okay. an order, I'm okay. All right. I well, mean, oh, you just gonna tell him about being in rural? I said, I'm not gonna waste my time. Now, yeah, I'm too tired Ms. for Fox. that, actually. Growing yes. corn's real hard what? work. I've read books about it before, and I think I'm all right. Ma'am, what the hell is I'll going just on? make eye contact with Ronan and just be like... <laughs> and then back, dude. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is going on? Well, about yeah. 20 years ago, I noticed a bunch of increase in in pest control yeah and that started happening about last couple years yeah yes what? about four years into my original stint uh we fought a kraken and time stopped I found a box in my pocket and chatted with a long dead hero who said that it's not going to happen with me, but that I was to wait until the right group of people that would have the same box to help finish what they started. Time out. Finish. They won, or succeeded, right? That's what, that's what all of them stories and songs say yep what? what do we know the isla to be that was like i figured they were a little less shit that long ago what what's left that needs to be done i don't know oh shit I was told to hold on to this because it would tell me that I had the right people. What happened to last year's class? Yeah, they're gone, aren't they? They're not dead. They're just gone. Nowhere. My brother's been working on something to track their their comms, but he's been struggling. There's some sort of arcane block on actually knowing where they're at. Is is there a map in here in this room? Yeah. You know, I'm I'm damn near about willing to bet money that they're somewhere there. <laughs> Point of the lost land on the map. <laughs> that makes sense. That is fully controlled by other side or entities. Yep. We don't interact with them. I don't even, I don't even know. That's, that stuff is so far 
like removed, we don't bother with them because they don't bother us. At least, because why do that's you? That's gonna change tomorrow. Or we gotta go take care of it. That's the whole <laughs> fucking continent, basically. You... We have treaties with the other siders there. We aren't to go there. I bet you if there's anybody who could block any kind of magical means of scrying or communication, it should be them. What was I their mean, last mission? When they go missing? For real. Not whatever bullshit. They put out in the paper. That's that's the thing. They weren't on mission. They were they were on a leave of absence. Like it was everybody gets vacation. Yeah. We're not monsters anymore. Debatable. I've at least instituted vacation. You can go and do stuff you want. It's it's fine. That's they, quite kind. Um. I mean, what, what if the uh, what happened to me, or what happened to me could have happened to them? They could have stepped into one of the rifts and just have to wait for a certain amount of time, and they may reappear. It's been a year. I mean, it took me several months to come back out. We can tell if someone has crossed into the other side. We have connections for that kind of intelligence. Well, I'll need to get to you, get with you about that, but uh, then I think, like Ronan said, there's pretty much only one place they could be. And that, I'm telling you that that might be the case, but uh, we have no hard evidence that they are there. And without that hard, hard evidence, the Isla and Martha Alcott is not going to be breaking any treaties. How many cavalry members are currently not on this plane, but still known to be alive? She what? uncrosses her arms, looks at her tattoo, and looks back at you, Emmett, and goes, Six of my knowing. Just the one group? The one year? No. Oh. Sounds like we need to investigate those six. You know how to contact those. And she gives you the knowing look of, yeah. uh, they are from Nufi, <laughs> and they're the only ones that have access. Well, this is something you weirdos did, huh? Look at him. That leans forward at the table. I think us weirdos are the ones that are trying to fix whatever all of us didn't. Did the whole lot Meeting Amica. Anybody shit, huh? One man um, band and all that. Excuse me? I said one man band and all that. Wait, no. you don't, wait, you don't speak English? What's the problem? I just didn't hear you. Oh. Old ears. Maybe I should get a hearing aid. Probably so. I can make There's, one. You know, probably work pretty good. There's been plenty of broken about this place. It yes. ain't just the rifts and whatnot. People are suffering. Yes. Now, I will tell you what my best advice is. Keep your head down. Do the fan service. And figure this out. You might trust other people. But if they talk. We don't know who. I'm still trying to figure out how last year's class went missing because literally they 
walked off the isla to go on vacation, and then they literally disappeared. People saw them just disappear in thin air? That's the thing. They, it didn't, she, she like throws up her hands and goes, it, it was like, it wasn't even that. It was like, the cameras were following it. It was like mm. the cameras glitched and it was, they were walking and walking and walking. And at some point it looked like the camera shut off and then they were gone. Where, at? Where else? The fucking crossroads where all the weird ass shit always happens. That sounds like you have a mole. Who controls the cameras? Well, there is a whole team of people who control the cameras. If something needs to get pulled, who makes the final decision? Me and my brother. And I trust my brother with my life. Wouldn't be the first time we've seen cameras glitch out. You fucking right. broke those things. <laughs> you talking about when time stopped that? I think too, you I mean suppose. when time stopped, yes. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. And you call me the dense one. I didn't say such thing. I only implied it. Do you have I'm... any any way of knowing that those cavalry members are still alive, right? We know that they're alive. They're just they're, not here. They're just not here. And we can't see where they're at. Our magic is blocked. Um, but the, the communicators, which are more or less welded to you, <laughs> unless you die, it doesn't come off. I mean, you can magically. It's an it sounds about your bot. Did anybody else on your team get it? No. I don't know why I am the only one who fucking had this, but I've been waiting for this to happen. And now that it is, like, uh, I have to maintain the order of the Calvary. So I can help you. I can provide resources. But at this point in time, I would say literally trust no one. Who was in charge of the investigation for the previous cavalry members? That would be for? the great uh, people of the Isla. And Martha Alcott and her oh. people. Yes. Go ahead. Anastasia, why are you raising your hand? Why are you raising your hand for? Uh, I know you said not to trust anybody. <clears throat> oh, hell. I might have told a, a lot of people. Dude. Lady. I mean, here's Dudes the thing. Can be ladies. You can, you can, the, like, the weird, the weird phenomena that happened, weird phenomena, always fucking weird shit happens. The elders say it was fey magic shit. Wasn't it? Well, I told, like, Asher, and I don't know if you know Mama. Everybody mama. knows mama. Uh, yeah. And my sponsors, my my contact, my sponsors, so they they know. Uh, which reminds me, how is this gonna work with that? What do you mean? Well, they told me I need to maintain the stockholder value through brand incorporation. It's a lot of words, but. You are something else, huh? I have to make a living. They literally, literally feed you and like clothe you and house you free of charge here. Or afterwards. How about you save the world and be famous and rich forever? Ain't gonna be a goddamn world to save if it tears itself apart. This is a two-part job, whether you want it to be or not. Yeah. What? Did, did anybody go missing like this before? Around your time? Not around my time. None. None whatsoever. I am going to tell you true, Ronan. 
appreciate I'm not much of a book person, so I did not bother looking through the library. Oh, gotcha. That is, that it, the, the smarts came to my brother. I'm more of a hit it with the pointy end. Here, here. Does he know? <laughs> Does he know about this? No. Should he? If we're going to need someone to cover our tracks, he seems like a pretty good person to have on our side. Maybe. If you, if you trust him implicitly, why wouldn't you tell him? Because I protect my brother with everything, and I don't know who is trying to destroy the world. And so... Is... Is uh is the is the uh, are the crossroads? How far out of Nyla is that? Uh, probably a solid ten miles. Damn, that's a long walk. Bit of a jog, even. Go there first. Yeah, I'd like to take a look at that. See if there's yeah, any. A couple hours. I mean, good hike. An hour. Nice day hike. Get a pack. Yeah. Make a day of it. We're cavalry, can't we just ask the range of helicopter? Oh. Figure so, but we might want to go there unobtrusively if we're trying sure. to do any kind of investigation. I could give you permission to borrow a truck um, nice. as a as more training for your um, patrolling areas. Yeah. Take a look around there. It's... Doesn't that sound like a ritual of anybody else? Crossroads, people go missing, not dead, still alive. Some real old shit, probably bad. No, just, all right. I just don't know how to talk around. What? Dude, what? What in a state? I know. I just know not to fuck around, Nero. Okay. Would you see, say that Martha might be more in it for the Isla and the Calvary itself, the Isla and the Calvary itself, than necessarily the fight? Martha Alcott is in it for Martha Alcott. Even worse. Oh, she's a politician, politician. Gotcha. Yes. Wonderful. So she was in charge of the, invest the investigation for making sure we found our missing or most of our missing team. And there was the best minds in the entire country just came up with a goose egg 10 miles away from their headquarters. Now you see why I have not talked about this and it's been very lonely Hmm. First steps Nick to the crossroads, then. Yeah. Yeah. Late night adventure under the cover of dark. Well, I don't think anyone slapped your hand for destroying all those cameras, Nikki. So as long as you got a pointy stick, we should be safe from being spied upon. You got damn Nikki. right. Okay. And I'll make sure Rex isn't broadcasted. Places are hanging on Rex's head. Thighs are currently blue. Was that a danger? <laughs> blue is his, his sleep mode. <laughs> well, they're purple when they're broadcasting. Uh, the last thing that Hannah Hannah's going to say in response to the the camera th stuff, she goes, "Cameras are collateral damage in the Calvary. I don't care how many you kill, you destroy. That doesn't come out of my budget." Even better. Mark and your phone. And why'd you program your robot to bark? <laughs> this is a dog. Yeah. This one's a pang pangolin. He don't make noises. That's your fault. I'm pretty sure that's an armadillo. Whatever it no, is. It's a pangolin. <laughs> I just point at back. 
that. I am mighty glad that I finally have the right people. <laughs> it's, I don't, I frankly don't know what the hell is going on. And I hope, whatever it is, we can stop it. Surely. You can count on this. They she looks down fast. at your... Okay. Uh, she looks down at your wrist, uh, Emmett, and goes, I sure hope so. Emmett, you also have one of these lotus tattoos? Yes, okay, cool. Just make it sure. Yeah. <laughs> there is that wrist. Right there. And at that, as the six of you uh, gear up, uh, not full call out load because she can't really justify that, um, you gear up to go to the crossroads. Shotgun. And that is where we're going to end <laughs> our oh, no! uh, uh, first <laughs> episode of Roads of Road. Thank you all so much for joining us on this brand new adventure. Uh, who's to say what's going to happen? It's going to be great. Stuff. Hey, perhaps even things. The <laughs> stuff and things. Um, if you look safe. into the chat somewhere, at some point, a link is going to be dropped for the uh, Extra Life, because we're raising money for Extra oh. Life, uh, the child uh, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Open oh. your heart w w wallets, do the lawful kind thing, um, and uh, help a kid, be a hero. Um, and not the weird propaganda heroes that we have here. How dare um, you. It's my world. I created it. Um, we are going to raid uh, some folks over at Venture Maidens. They're an awesome TTRPG game. Uh, and we love to support our fellow gamers. So uh, go visit them at some point. The link should hop, pop over. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, will you? Bye. 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 Bye.